Hey everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to tie your horse up in the stalls. Uh, because of the coronavirus, we are getting rid of any cross ties that are happening in the aisleways or breezeways uh, so that people aren't having to work in close quarters uh, when they're passing horses or trying to get to stall to stall or back to their lockers, anything like that. So one thing that we've done is we have installed tie rings high up uh, so that we're able to either cross tie or just tie up our horses. Uh, one thing to notice, if you have smaller children, I'm about five foot eight or so, and so I've got to reach up for this. You do not want to tie your horse to something low. That's why this is so high. So if you need to purchase any kind of stool, anything like that, they do make really good, uh, relatively cheap, collapsible stools that will fit nicely in your lockers so that you'll be able to come in and reach up there. Uh, there's two things that I would recommend doing. Um, one is you can tie up using just a lead rope. Uh, you can also use either cross ties or a trailer tie. So I do want to show you a little bit about what I would recommend. This is in the same way that we are getting used to a new normal, so do our horses. Most of the horses here at, at Frederica are not used to being tied up within their stalls. They're used to being out in the cross ties. So be aware that it's a new normal for them as well and they might not be quite so used to what it is that you're asking them to be here. So for the first couple of weeks in particular, you wanna make sure to follow every safety uh, standard that you can. The first thing that I would say is that if you are tying up with a lead rope, one, I highly recommend round lead ropes rather than any flat ones. Uh, and I recommend cotton versus any kind of a nylon lead rope. Uh, nylon lead ropes, if they run across your uh, hand, it can give you a, a burn quite a bit more than a cotton one can. Uh, the, cotton, the round ones as well are able to slip free if you need them to slip free uh, a lot easier than the flat ones can. So let me show you first how to do a safety knot. If you are going to tie up with your lead rope, you definitely want to use a safety knot versus any other kind of knot so that if your horse does need to get free, you're able to help them do that. So the way that I do safety knots in a tying uh, situation like this is I actually take my lead rope and I fold it nice and tightly in half. I'm gonna thread that fold through the uh, tie loop, through the tie ring, take the tail portion, and I'm gonna push the tail portion through that loop. Okay, so you've got one more little loop there, and then I'm gonna pull tight uh, on the part that the horse is attached to, okay? So not the tail. Then I'll pull tight here. This way, if he starts pulling back and, and panicking and I need to get him free, all I have to do is grab the tail, pull it out, and the whole thing will fall through. I like to do it that way rather than passing through the tie loop uh, and then trying to do a safety knot. Uh, if you do it this way, while it does still technically work, if he's trying to panic and fall out and come out, then once you pull it through, he's technically still tied up. It adds just a couple of extra seconds before he's able to get free. So I find that doing it the other method is a little bit easier. Again, I'm just doubling up my lead rope, passing it up and through the loop. I'm taking the tail, putting the tail in through. Uh, sometimes if you need to tighten it up a little bit more, you can do a cut that a couple of times. Uh, but again, that way if he is trying to panic and get loose, all you have to do is pull tight on the tail, it'll fall right out. You do want to make sure that you leave enough slack uh, for your horse when you tie them up, that his head is not pulled up to the wall, but you also don't want to have enough uh, slack in there that he can wrap himself up in uh, the lead rope itself, okay? So this is a pretty decent amount of slack that you wanna have for the horse. So here's one method. If you do this, I do not recommend leaving this tied up uh, and then just unclipping your horse and leaving it there constantly uh, and, and using that as a tie. The main reason is that if you do so, dust tends to collect here and then the day that he does panic and you do need to actually use it as a safety knot, when you pull free, the dust will make this lead rope lock in place and you won't be able to make it go free. So in that case, I always recommend undo it every time. Uh, that's not something you want to leave there. The other option that you can use is either cross ties or uh, trailer ties. So if you do decide to use um, cross ties, then let me know. We'll install another one of these on the opposite side and you can actually cross tie your horse in. 
Uh, otherwise, we will be able to do a trailer tie, which is just a shorter cross tie. If you do that, I do recommend using a little bit of hay string or twine, something like that, as a breakaway strap. Just thread through, this is about nine inches. Thread it through, tie a little knot to hold it in place. Then you're going to take a, I've got here a trailer tie. Uh, you're going to take your trailer tie and attach that to your breakaway string. Then all you have to do is take this, your clip, and you can just clip it onto your horse. Uh, if you do this uh, method, then you can leave this here. If at any point the horse panics and tries to break away, and this is similar to how cross ties uh, are done here, this hay string will actually break first and that's what will let him get free. So that's why we always make sure to put these hay strings on any cross ties or any trailer ties so that they're able to get free if they need to. And then you can just leave that there the whole time uh, and you don't have to worry about tying up with the lead ropes. That's perfectly safe for him to just stay there. A trailer tie is a good length of tie. If you're going to just leave it here the whole time and not cross tie them, a trailer uh, tie is a very good length of tie. I have loosened it to make it about as long as possible. So this is a pretty good length here. This is also a really good option if uh, you have um, uh, child riders or something like that. So they're not constantly having to climb up here and mess with this ring. Uh, it's obviously low enough that they're able to just reach over and grab it and tie their horse up that way. All right, thank you very much.